Yeah, that's it. Are we recording? Oh man. Man, that's kind of weird. MIDI file is not working. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but I like weirder, weird stuff. Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Marcelo Amazonas and you are watching Ad Libitum. You know, I have been thinking a lot on how could I possibly start, you know, an English episode on my channel, you know, and then I just remember my dear friend here, Gustavo Dipolito, a great musician who lives in Vienna, you know, and plays with the great guys who once said to me, you know, when I had the same question about starting this very channel, he said, Marcelo, take your camera and just start, man. This is exactly what I'm doing right now, you know. I'm taking my chances now. I'm like, for me, especially, particularly, I'm breaking some boundaries, you know, because it's hard to communicate sometimes in a very specific and clear way. This is education, an educational channel, you know. We have to be clear and know very well what we are talking about, you know, and some concepts in order to explain the things, you know. And so we can really use this all this information, you know, that I bring. So thinking and all of that, you know, I just think, yeah, let me start and see what's, what's going to happen. And here I am. Well, for those who don't know me yet, uh, yeah, I am pianist. I am a composer, music producer, and I have been working in many different areas, you know, in music industry. I have produced some CDs and for many different styles and for art, different artists. And I have also wrote a lot of arrangements, my own music. I'm also composer, as I said, arranger. Well, this system I came up with when I was studying and trying to find relationships between geometry and music and there are a lot of musicians who had already studied this, this particular issue like Pat Martino with the 12 star system, guys like uh, Di Maria, an Argentinian guy who wrote and has a, a, an interesting system for film scoring also and also some things like uh, uh, chromatic mediums and all this sort of stuff. I would like to have all this combined, you know, specifically for film scoring because I think it's very helpful and useful. And I see nowadays we have a lot of demand of, of this kind of music, you know. So I thought that it would be very, very, it would be nice for us musicians to have this such a tool, like some shortcuts, you know, we could have, like we have for patterns, for scales and all these, but for film scoring, and that's why, I, and that's how I came up with the system, mixing all these ideas, you know, but putting my focus on music, film scoring, composition. So that's it. And in order to have access to all these sonorities we are used to hear in film scoring, movies and games and so on, all we have to do is to, to follow simple steps, man. Take a look, let me just explain to you. Listen, I forgot to mention, I'm using this, this software, you know, I've downloaded it, I bought it actually. Um, to capture my screen, it, it is cool, so you can really deep have a deep insight in what is happening here, you know, harmonically speaking. So, let's see. Once you have a chord, you can only move by thirds. Let's start with uh, major thirds. C, E. C, A. Oh, I'm sorry, C, A flat. Okay, and then you can also do like extended dominance. You can keep this this thinking, you know, and keep moving by thirds, you know. 
you're gonna end up with this kind of sound, you know? We we do hear a lot in movies and you know overtures. This kind of things, man. And then let's see the minor to uh, let's go down over here. And then we have it. We can all have three chords in a row because of the symmetry and this is what I was looking for what I said and because I was looking for that I also saw this you know in the music of um, the music of Bartok, Bartok's music you know he uses this kind of things this analogies with triangles you know describing this axis between the roots and this is cool when you move by thirds, you can go to the parallel keys, you know, the, the keys that share the same root, you know, like C minor or C major. The parallel, when I say parallel key, I mean C major, parallel key, C minor, that's all, you know, same in the same, sharing the same root. So, you can go to minor, from ma minor to major chords, from major to minor chords, no, makes no difference it depends the kind of sound you want to have we hear this all the time you know? okay then the next step you gotta move by half tones or half steps and if you take some common tones it it makes this it even stronger let's say you're playing c minor and then you have e flat if you keep this that's gonna become and if you go to b major that's gonna become the major third and then here it's the minor third of c major c minor that becomes the major third of b major we also hear this all the time like This is Hollywood sounds. This that's what it is, man. Straight, you know, like move by thirds, move by half tones, and now move by tritones. That's it. So let's see C major because the triton divides, you know, the octave. The octave makes it two perfect parts. So you end up with only two possibilities. Let's see. And then C major, F sharp. We hear this a lot. You know, the, actually, this is a, the Petrusca chord, but stack it, stack it. Nice sounds. Well. That's it by thirds, major and minor, half steps and tritones. Another thing you can do, you can stack the chords using the same root, the same relation. Let's see. You can take this chord, which is the a third apart, you know. Let's see. Let's say you are playing C and E. You can play you can play both together. You have this already this poly polychord sounds, you know. You can do the same with all chords from the parallel keys as well, you know. Like I'm playing like E flat over C major. Both. I can play minor, you know, that will give me another sound from Dominant diminish. If you play minor, that's an interesting sound as well. You can play as we did already, F sharp, you know, the triton. And you can also play the half stone the half step apart. Both 
uh, all combinations, all three combinations you can do, you know. You can do separately, like harmonically and a kind of melodic, you know, or you can do like harmonic, you know, stacking chords. Yeah, that's all you have to do, man. Follow these steps and be happy with all these sounds. I hope this can be as useful for you as it's been to me in this last year. So, what are you gonna do now is practice. I'm gonna play to you some excerpts so you can see the possibilities, you know, some excerpts from some music I wrote from to this episode, you know, the, the Sistema Archeometrico. It's how it is called in Portuguese because of the archaeometer, you know, because of this geometry and the, all the analogies I did on the episode. That's it folks, I think that by now we can have an idea of how many possibilities we can have using this simple concept, you know, that brings us a very quick way to access the, all the sounds, you know, and we should and must explore the sounds. That's all about that, you know, in, on this channel. It's all about exchanging knowledge, you know, getting better and better, expanding our music. And if you like it, you can always join our channel. You can, if you don't understand something, if you don't understand my English or something, what else, I don't know, uh, some concepts, you can always write here, write me a comment, I'll be glad to answer. That's it guys, I'm Marcelo Amazonas and I hope to see you soon. Bye!